Some are looking at these reopenings with hope and some with some skepticism. How many more people will finally now come to Las Vegas or can even travel? In the first months to now is a very struggle. Borman Yang once had buses of tourists, convention goers, international travelers coming to Taiwan Delhi after three months of closures and reopening in June. Business is still down 70 percent. It's a similar story across tourist hotspot Chinatown. Labor Day. That day we do not bear, but it's still one third of before. Since restaurants, the Strip, and other Valley businesses have slowly reopened, that's helped foot traffic. Even though on Tuesday, Governor Steve Sisolak welcomed back larger gatherings, can and will people come? And the rest of the people, they don't want to come back. They worry this uh, COVID-19, Taiwan, Singapore, but because of our COVID-19, and they cannot come. Go to the Chinatown Plaza, the original one, a lot of the retail stores in there are, are either closed or temporarily or post permanently or there's just no foot traffic. Travel agencies definitely are hurting. Food costs are up and PPE expenses. They're making money, but it's not it's not a lot. Sunny Vinoya with the Las Vegas Asian Chamber of Commerce says others adapted. The spirit of the entrepreneur is amazing. They've found other ways for now to make money where they're selling PPE equipment. The chamber continues to help local businesses get grants from the CARES Act and other federal funding, but it will still take locals stepping up. Local people, uh, please help us a lot. Stay in the business.